What are my five bourbons for the Reddit five bourbon challenge? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker, but you guys a brand new video. It is now that time of year where all kinds of lists and challenges are being done because, well, it is bourbon hunting season and everybody and their mother is looking for all of these hard to find bottles of bourbons. And they're also doing crazy challenges such as this one. And this Reddit challenge is a fun one. I did it way back in the beginning of the channel. I also did it last year, I believe. And this list has definitely changed from first bottle to the last bottle every single time I have done it. And I think everybody else's list definitely changes throughout their time. Now, if you don't know what the five bourbon Reddit challenge is, let me list it out for you right here. Your first bottle that you need is an everyday sipper, something you go to every single day. You don't have to drink every day, but if it's something that you want, it's that first everyday sipper. Your second bottle that you're gonna need is a cocktail mixer, something that you go to that can hold up to dilution, really, really tasty in any kind of cocktail that you put it in. Bottle number three is going to be your Friday night pour. After that long work week, you're gonna need something that you're gonna wanna kick back in the couch, kick back in the armchair, have a nice sipping whiskey or bourbon in your glass and forget about the work week. Next up, your fourth bottle is going to be your Impress a Guest. Now, everybody always does one bottle for this, but I'm going to do two. I'm going to have a bottle for somebody who is a bourbon kind of source, somebody who always enjoys bourbon. And I'm going to have a second bottle on here for somebody who has had bourbon before, isn't afraid to try new things, but isn't the biggest bourbon drinker in the world. And finally, your fifth and final bottle is going to be your celebratory pour. Now, I want to hear what your five bottles are down in the comments below before I even get into my bottles. Leave that comment down below. If you're brand new, smash that like button. Likes help the channel out like you would not believe. And we are creeping, creeping, creeping up to 5,000 subscribers. We surpassed 4,500. We're already up to 4,550. And you guys are crushing it. And I can't thank you guys enough. If you want to add a bottle of Blanton's to your collection, all you got to do is smash that subscribe and I'm giving it away to one lucky subscriber. But without further ado, let's get into bottle number one. So bottle number one is going to be your daily sipper. And for me, my go-to daily sipper is one that came out in the beginning of this year. Bardstown Bourbon Company Bottled and Bond Wheated Bourbon. This is a six-year-old weeded bourbon and I'll tell you Every time I go to this, I enjoy it so, so much. It's 100 proof, so it's not really high in proof, but it's also not that low 90 or 80 proof that some people enjoy. Now, that is not a knock on them. They can love a 90 or an 80 proofer, but for me, I like the flavor profile that comes through with that 100 proof. It really just hits home to me, and I enjoy Pouring a nice glass of this. This is my second bottle that I've had of this, and we are crushing through these because they are just that darn delicious. Bottle number two, again, is going to be your cocktail maker. Now for me, I enjoy making a nice old fashioned almost every single night. Not every night, but almost every night. And I'll go through a whole plethora of bottles. But the one that I have really enjoyed using throughout this year so far is gonna go to Knob Creek Nine Year. Now we talked about Knob Creek Nine Year I believe in the last video, but I'll tell you, it's one of my absolute favorite bottles. It, you got that complexity with the nine year age statement, but you're not breaking the bank at $34, $36 if you wanna mix with this. It's 100 proof, it doesn't dilute like crazy in your cocktails, it holds that, that flavor profile that this has, but it also complements whatever syrup or simple syrup or bitters that you're using in your cocktail, right? I like to use a nice um, cinnamon style um, dark brown sugar simple syrup. I love using black walnut bitters along with those Angostura bitters and this you still taste the Knob Creek in that cocktail and that's what I really really love. They, they marry so well in the, in, in the cocktail and 
this Knob Creek Nine Year is one of my absolute favorites when I'm mixing a cocktail. And you guys know my other two go-tos are Old Forester 100 Proof and also Old Grandad 114. If you're looking for something a little bit more spicy, a little more heat in the glass, that Old Grandad 114 is definitely the way to go. But let's get into bottle number three. Bottle number three is gonna go to your Friday night pour. Now some guys, unfortunately, like myself, I'm not done working on Friday. I gotta work through Saturday, and Saturday night I come home and I just want something to sit back and forget about the work week. And for me, and I hope for a lot of you, it's this bottle because it is just that darn good. Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. Now these are so, so good. There's three releases in a year. If you find one that you really, really enjoy, such as me, I really enjoy the C923 and the A123 so far. That blind is gonna be coming within the next week or two. I promise you guys that I'm gonna be doing that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Blind of the Year. But at the moment, I do believe that my favorite is the C923. And you just can't go wrong with these. That hundred and what is it? What's the A? A is 125.6 and the B is 124.3. So 124 proof and up so far for this year, you forget about the week. You really do. You enjoy that bourbon that's in that glass and it's just something that you, you enjoy and you, you know, you watch some sports, you watch whatever you want, a little family guy, whatever you want to watch and you enjoy that bourbon on that nice end of the week pour. But... We're getting into bourbon number four, and that is your impress, your guest. Now, like I said, for this specific bottle, I have two bottles that go in line with this, right? I'm going to give you my first one for your bourbon kind of source, somebody who comes over who really, really enjoys bourbon, has a nice collection themselves, and you want to give them something that, hey, you know, they might have, but they definitely enjoy themselves. And for me, that bottle is going to go too. Stag Junior Batch 15. Now, there are multiple batches of Stag Junior. I've got a Batch 15 and I've got a Batch 18. I'm going with the older bottle only because it's something that that bourbon lover might not have, right? A lot of guys are picking up this 17, 18, and 19, the 20, 21. I don't even know how many batches there are at the moment now, but something a little bit older. I believe that this was a release in 2020 or 2021. So it's got, the, it's got a little bit more rarity to it, if you want to say. And coming in at 131.1 proof, it's it's something that a bourbon lover will love if they love a high proof. Stag Junior to me is something that comes through as a very, very enjoyable sip. Um, it, it holds up to all kinds of blinds and everything. And I will always stand by Stag Junior as being a nice pour to give to somebody who enjoys bourbon and you want to impress them. Now, bottle number two is something that is going to be something that you'll pour for somebody that enjoys bourbon but isn't the biggest <clears throat> proof hound isn't somebody who has been drinking bourbon for the longest but they will most definitely enjoy this pour that bottle is going to go to penelope rio and you guys know my thoughts on this bottle how much i absolutely enjoy it me being a proof hound and this being in it, the top three bottles on my shelf says a lot about it if you don't know about it it's coming in at 98 proof. It's finished in Amberana and honey cask. So it's a double cask finished bourbon. And it is snickerdoodle, honey bun, deliciousness in a glass. Can't go wrong with it. If somebody that isn't a big proof hound but loves bourbon and hasn't had the opportunity to try the Penelope Rio, this is definitely the one that I'm pouring for them. And finally, we have our celebratory pour bourbon. Now you guys most likely know what this bottle is going to be for me because we it's one of the only bottles that's not open on the shelf. It is one that I am going to be celebrating with when we hit 5,000 subscribers. And yes, I say we because this is a family, we're a community, and I, en I enjoy talking with every single one of you guys in the comment section in any way possible to be able to communicate back and forth. If you guys want to be able to communicate more with me, go check out the Patreon down below. We're giving away samples, we do glass giveaways, we do all kinds of different fun things over there we have a great community of guys that talk in the discord we're up to i believe 25 or 26 members and we're growing we're growing we're growing and i love to see that but if you don't want to by all means i talk to almost every one of you in the comment section below but without further ado let's get into that celebratory pour 
not Pappy Van Winkle lot B. Now I've gotten a lot of comments in my comment section saying how the old Rip Van Winkle 10 years, 10 times better than this or blah, 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 blah. You know, everybody has their opinion and I will form a opinion on this bottle once I open it. Now I appreciate all your opinions, I do. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but nonetheless, this is the one bottle that I have that I am going to be celebrating with and I am going to try my best to enjoy it whether or not I do or don't. So with that said, this is going to be my celebratory pour because it's not even open and it's been sitting on the shelf for almost a freaking year now for 5,000 subscribers. So if you guys want a review of the Van Winkle 12 year lot B, all you gotta do is smash that subscribe button. So there you guys have it. Those are the five bottles of bourbons that I would put in my five bourbon Reddit challenge, including a sixth for somebody who isn't a big bourbon proof hound. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave the comments down below on what your bourbons would be. But until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.